Hello, 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 everybody. Pretzel Road here, and welcome back to episode 7 of the Cleanup Crew uh, Let's Play slash Scenario sol uh, Solving series. Um, yeah, so let's get a start on this. Um, I guess, what do we need? People want residential. Um, people want residential zones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick people out of their residential zones so that I can raise the density. Um, so we'll do something like this and we'll just work our way outwards with this. Uh, it should also help the... Uh, we've got this IT office area that's got some very tall buildings which immediately drop down into this low density area. So I think that these um, these residential spaces should help to um, help help to sort of balance that out because they tend to be on average a little bit shorter than the uh, IT cluster the IT cluster specifically, but I think office buildings in general. Though the uh, the IT cluster has a tendency to be very tall. Uh, yeah, and then we also will need to, uh, we can probably raise the density on these, uh, these low density commercial areas right around here. Yeah. So a city, um, it does have this kind of unfortunate feature of going straight up into high density, basically. Want to go back, um, just a couple of blocks into it. Uh, however, we can't really expand out this way, and we're also somewhat restricted in that direction. In fact, do we have any? Oh, We've got a bunch of land that we can steal. That would we just haven't bought any of this yet? Hmm. Should I? Should I get some land? We'll wait a little bit on that. I think. Hmm. My goodness. So, one one thing that we one little problem that we definitely have on here that we can fix is the fact that currently what we have in our city is a uh, traffic circle. We don't have a roundabout. Uh, roundabouts are significantly better than traffic circles. Uh, just for, like, traffic flow purposes. So, um, basically, if you don't know the difference, the, uh, I believe, anyway, the difference in large part is that they, um, a roundabout splits, splits apart like this. It's, um, into, uh, two different roads. So that the, um, the traffic sort of flows right out, uh, right in and out, and doesn't have to do a lot of, like, turning and stuff. That description didn't make any sense, I know. Um, but uh, I promise these are, these are better. Uh, that's not what I want. So that, that should work a little bit better anyway. Um, this this is kind of a small road, so we can probably just do a uh, highway off-ramp, which are... It, it, it's functionally the same as a um, as a two-lane uh, one-way road, except it's only got one lane, and it can't have stuff built on the side of it. Um, How should I do this? We don't have a lot of space over on this side. That's kind of frustrating. So I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do that. We'll move this over to here. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this length of road 
a little bit shorter. I need to move the police station over again. We're trying to make this length of road a little bit shorter so that I've got more space to uh, approach the uh, roundabout with. There we go. All right, good. So hopefully that should at least help with our traffic a little bit. Uh, it looks a little bit more awkward uh, just because of the way that the game uh, simulates the roads, I guess. But this should hopefully... Oh, another thing we need to do is we do need to go into the inspector and make sure that our intersections... Yep, nope, that's not good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place stop signs on this road across here. Uh, really, we don't generally want to have large roads intersecting each other. Um, I think in small quantities it's okay, but there are definitely better ways to do this. I think. In fact, hmm, should I try some? I think I'm going to try something. So I'm going to try turning this into an overpass. Um, it's kind of a steep one because I want to conserve space, but I think that doing this should hopefully help me in general um, the hope is that this will um, help, help with the traffic a little bit so what we can do then is we'll dang it, we've got this water tower right here so we'll move, the, we'll move the water tower. We'll move the water tower over there for now. Wrong thing. There we go. Yeah. And then we can do a road. Space already occupied by what? Oh, that thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So what we'll do, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll just set this up as two roads, something like that, and then it will interrupt traffic a little bit on here, but hopefully not quite so badly. Um, and in fact, we can even improve it a little bit more by doing a stop sign there and a stop sign there. And so now, when uh, trucks are coming, cars and trucks and all of them are coming into the city, they will um, not have to go past this road, and if they want to turn onto it, they can just go around like that or like that. And it does get rid of some of our uh, zoning space, but it's not too bad, I don't think. And the most important part is that we're uh, decreasing traffic. All right, now on with the uh, zoning thing. Um, oh, actually, it looks like we're running kind of low on time. So I guess we'll save uh, more of the zoning stuff for the next episode. Uh, so we can expand out this way more. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like. Share it with other people who you think might be interested. Subscribe to the channel uh, with the notifications turned on so you don't miss videos like this when they come out. And yeah, uh, until next time, have a nice day. Bye.